Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just watched called Zero Contact. This one was sent to me for review by Lionsgate. If you get a chance to check this one out, be sure to let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Very curious what other people thought of it. I will be sure to include more information including the links to purchase one down in the description. So this one has Anthony Hopkins in, a, in kind of a smaller role. Uh, and this is obviously taking place at some point in the future. Um, could be the near future. Anthony Hopkins' character uh, was a software developer, an app developer, and basically he made these apps and they were basically just kind of spying on people or, or they were doing something else, but in the background or whatever, they were spying on people. And so the whole movie is told through devices, um, either through like the camera on a cell phone, the camera on a laptop, a security camera, which has been done and is not necessarily a typically a great way to make a movie but it isn't always terrible either now so he's died and these five people get a letter or a, i don't know it was a letter or an email or, or some th something tells them they need to get in on this kind of zoom like call and kind of uh do this thing he, they all have a password and there's like this ai on there and it's saying you know put the password in to um activate this quantum device or whatever it was and none of them know like for sure what it does this one guy he was really involved with it and he knows pretty much but it seems like nobody else has a, a real clue uh what it is and one of the people is his son and so they're trying to decide you know what will happen if this thing gets activated because like uh he was kicked out of the company for it and uh for some reason it keeps like transitioning into these scenes of anthony hopkins character rambling about nothing or so, i don't they were so boring and pointless um and of course they do all the stupid video breakdown interference things constantly and it's so annoying i wish people when they make these movies they would just say hey our internet works we don't need to have these stupid glitches in the video constantly because all it does is really annoy the audience i don't think it adds anything to the movie if you want to do one or two okay but this was like every two seconds um and so i got real annoyed by that and so the movie is mostly these people just sitting there looking into their screens talking about this thing like <laughs> there's not a lot going on and so some group unknown group is trying to stop them from activating this i guess it was a machine or something i don't i don't even know what it was to be honest they, they, they don't want to activate this so they're like threatening them and um I don't know, I think one guy got killed, and one guy kills himself, and the other the other one, the people broke in their house, but they weren't able to get them or something, and um, it's just real odd. Like, the story is impossible to follow. I could not follow it at all. Uh, I didn't really ever know exactly what was going on. I was just like, okay, they're putting in their passwords, they're not putting in their passwords. They can't decide, you know, and, and it is so slow. It is so slow. And even for this type of movie, like the dialogue is real bad and the acting's pretty bad and the movie just seems to go nowhere. And then I, I don't know if I missed something, but out of nowhere, eventually the son figures out he has a time machine. Like, was that, what? <laughs> Did he have a time machine the whole time? Or I don't, he's just like, temporal displacement temporal displacement and it, uh, oh i have a time machine okay <laughs> and you know uh, that the once he f does the time machine thing there's actually a, a cool twist that's kind of interesting but i just honestly i could not get into this movie at all i i don't really feel like there was anything redeeming about it to me uh, I give it a one out of five. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check the chess videos, and I'll see you guys next time.